Hi everybody, uh, this is Cindy from Ideas Times 2. Welcome back to our channel. Um, today I am working on a couple of tags. I um, just have finished a journal that has an empty pocket and so um, I want to put some tags in it and since a lot of the journal is not very embellished I thought I would um, maybe do some layering and embellish a couple of tags and uh, do some decoupage and so right here I have a pile of things that I might use a little bit of um, cheesecloth and lace and some piano paper and um, some tags and uh, little scraps and whatnot so uh, this is all of the stuff that I brought out that I might use um, I don't have a real clear picture in mind of what I want to make but um, uh, I thought I would come on with you today and um, uh, do a little bit of decoupage and layering and so first thing I'm doing here is cutting my paper um, I'm just using a manila cardstock and I just cut this uh, quarter and a half inches wide and about four and three quarters tall. Um, the book I'm making is a little smaller than my normal, um, you know, six by nines. Uh, I used a um, Reader's Digest cover for um, for the cover, and so. Um, Everything's a little smaller than normal, trying to keep it balanced. So I have templates for four tags, but I am just doing this kind of the easy way. I'm making sure the corners are um, the same size in both. And um, so I'm going to Uh, decoupage. Um, I have this uh, Tim Holtz uh, tissue wrap and the theme of my journal is butterflies and so this has butterflies on it and I'm going to um, decoupage uh, some of this onto my cards and um, you know for uh, for you experienced decoupagers um, I know uh, people have their favorites, and um, I prefer a, a matte finish. So if I'm using Mod Podge, um, I use the matte. Um, but I prefer the Liquitex um, matte medium, uh, the gel matte medium, um, because I've heard that other people don't have this issue with Mod Podge being sticky when it's dry. Um, but I do, and I, I think it might be because I live in a, a humid climate, but I've kind of quit using Mod Podge. But uh, if you live in an area that's maybe a drier uh, climate, you might not have an, an issue. So Mod Podge um, works well for decoupaging, of course, so that's its purpose. Um, but I prefer the Liquit uh, Liquitex um, Gel Matte Medium. So that's what I'm going to use today. And I generally use just um, a foam brush. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's see. Do an estimate here of the size. and just sloppy cut it for now because it doesn't much matter at this point. And I want to use these as well, uh, the little butterflies. And do the same thing, just a sloppy cut, make sure I have the size correct. And then get that out of the way. One thing with the um, 
uh, when you're decoupaging um, is that it can take time to dry. So you don't want to decoupage if it's a project that you are in a rush to get done uh, because it may take a couple of layers of Mod Podge or uh, your whatever medium you're using to get it uh, to the right um, consistency or I'm going to try to line this up at the top and on the sides. And since I'm layering it, it doesn't, I, I don't, I'm not worried about, you know, the butterflies being perfectly aligned. And if I trim a little off on the butterfly wings, that's okay because I'm going to add some layering. Um, an issue I often have with when I mod podge or when I decoupage is that I often don't get enough on the edges. So you want to make sure that the edges are uh, have plenty of a medium on there. Um, and because it's wet, the paper is going to curl a little bit, but that's not an issue because as it dries, they will flatten. And so I think that one looks pretty good. And I'll do the other one. beautiful day outside today. I uh, have a lot, I, I need to craft. Um, I am, our, our shop is getting empty. I have some projects that I need to do. And um, even though I'm still working, working from home, I don't have to commute. And so I, since I don't have my commute, I actually have a little bit more time for crafting right now. It's okay. Go on. Go on. There you go. Um, but I'm still not getting stuff done as, as much done as I thought I would. Um, so uh, I'm going to let these dry and, you know, depending on the weather, um, or if you have a, a heat tool, uh, you can use a blow dryer or a heat gun or, um, you know, whatever you generally use to dry stuff. You can let it air dry. Um, I'm going to move these over under the light and um, let those let those dry. Um, a since I know I'm going to be using um, my brush again uh, shortly, instead of washing it, I'm going to just put it in a Ziploc bag. It will keep the uh, the foam. From drying out so I only have to wash it once and I'll put that over to the side I'm going to keep this handy and um, uh, I am making two butterfly journals one I've already finished and I'm going to be doing a grungy butterfly journal that I've already started. So I've, I'm making multiple tags. And so I already have two that are, are dry. And you can see it's, um, they're still curled a little bit, but um, they'll, they'll flatten without any problems, especially once they're in the book and in the pockets. So um, the, uh, I've trimmed the edges and everything is um, nice and neat. And what I'm, going to first thing I'm going to do is I think I want to add a little bit of text I know there's already text on there so I'm not going to add a lot I don't want to make it too busy but um, I just want maybe a little more depth so for um, the text I'm going to use stays on so that it um, because it literally stays on once it dries it doesn't doesn't bleed so um, often um, when I'm uh, doing text I um, stamp part of it off I don't want it to be too um, too dark
so just adding a little bit I'm not too concerned about really too much about placement I just want to add a little bit of a little bit of interest a little oops I smeared that uh, but that's not an issue because I will cover it with something else so that stays on if you don't use um, a um, if you don't have a, a permanent ink pad I suggest um, stays on it's a uh, it's a good brand it comes in a lot of different colors uh, the one I'm using right now is timber brown and I will clean that later I'm sure nobody wants to wash watch me um, get the baby wipes out um, and I want this uh, to be age looking so I'm going to now smear the whole thing with um, my uh, Tim Holtz well, you can't even see the cover anymore uh, distress oxide um, this does um, bleed when it gets wet so um, it doesn't even need to be neat I'm going to do another layer of Mod Podge over the top or not Mod Podge I need to quit saying that um, of the Liquitex over the top and when I do that it's going to smear anyway so um, it doesn't need to be too super neat or tidy and I might I think I'm going to go ahead and maybe do a little darker on the edges and on the back give it an aged look all the way around I wish I could take my craft table I started to say that before I wish I could take my craft table outside and enjoy the weather today it's absolutely beautiful You know, we only get about 10 perfect days the entire year and probably by next week the temperatures are going to be quite hot so it's nice to get out there and enjoy them while while we can all right well so that's the base for my tags um, and I do not I honestly do not have a clear idea of what I want to do um, but I thought I would you know just have a little bit of everything out uh, so that I can kind of decide as I go I think on this one I want to put a tag on there and um, these are uh, just uh, Tracy Fox blank tags and um, that's a staple I keep in uh, my scrap uh, my journaling stash uh, she has them in red blue black and brown as well as some with numbers and and um, things on them but I like the blank tags the blank labels um, I have um, some little alphabet stamps and number stamps that I can um, use to write on them or I can leave them blank if I want to and I think this one I'm going to leave blank and just put it like up there in that empty spot 
and they're already she's already aged them in the digital um, in the digital realm I'm just adding a little bit to make sure the edges in particular aren't um, aren't white and so um, let's see uh, maybe this little butterfly right there would be cute and I think I'm going to fussy cut it but since it's small it will just take that's a butterfly it's there are not a whole lot of details on here that I have to worry about so I think uh, this will be cute up there on the top corner. I hope everybody is doing well and you're healthy and your families are healthy and um, you are getting lots of crafting done while you are um, stuck at home. I'm a homebody anyway. I'm an introvert and for me, it's not being stuck at home. I actually, I'm, I miss my job. I miss my students a whole awful lot. But at the same time, you know, if the governor says we have to stay at home, I'm okay staying home. So something like that. And let's see, uh, maybe some lace going down the side. I'll sew that on, something like that. Um, I think it really needs to, it needs much more than that. Um, little paper scraps and, and whatnot that I just brought over here, brought out. Maybe a little, just a little brown paper on there. I want to do some layering, but I don't want it to be so bulky. Um, I want it to fit in the pocket without making the pages in the journal bulge too much. So um, maybe glue that on there, add add the lace and I think I'll zigzag stitch that on there so it's pretty noticeable uh, just something simple a little bit of cut adding a little bit of color um, and um, I think that'll be good I don't want to mod podge over that so or shoot I've got to quit saying that um, I um, I don't want to uh, decoupage um, over the top so I'll take that the lace off and glue everything down and um, and then do a layer uh, maybe not I don't it, it doesn't need another layer of decoupage um, medium over the top I think it'll be fine without if you want to uh, put some more on, go ahead, another layer or two. But now that I'm looking at it, I don't think I want to put uh, another layer. I intended to, but I don't think I will. So I'm just, uh, I'm using a Fabri-Tac um, to glue this down, to glue everything down. I think it'll be, um, and then I'm gonna go around the edges with the sewing machine. Uh, 
I have, I cut this out. Um, I don't know if I want to put that on there or not, but if I do, I need to trim it down, get some of that white off. Go ahead and ink it up. I don't know. Jeez. Oh, um, like tiddly wings there. Yeah, I think I'm going to put that up there. I kind of like it. My glue's doing a little volcano up there on the top. It's getting a little messy. And I'm just going to do a light. Cause I'm I know I'm definitely going to sew over the top of the lace. I'm not going to really glue it down much. I'm just going to put a little very light bead of glue on there so that when I do sew it, it will hold it in place. And what about a tab? What do you think? I think it could use a, a fabric tab. I have a little bit of Tim Holtz paper or fabric right here. Mm, not loving that. Maybe it's too big. Just needs a little. Might be too small. <laughs> um, uh, or I could do. I don't know. While I'm thinking on it, I'm going to go ahead and. Um, do this one and I think this one could use some more more color um, I have this adorable little book it's called butterflies of America and it's got and you can see I've been using it like like crazy um, each of the pages has a little bit of text and a picture picture and then the other side is text which is nice so you don't have to decide which which butterfly you want to use. Every once in a while though there's a page with butterflies on both sides. I like this one and that's a little frustrating um, because I really like that one um, which is the one I probably would use. Um, since a lot of the book um, the journal that I just made is orange. Has um, the cover has got a lot of orange on it. I think I will use um, this one here. Uh, it's called the Baltimore Checker Spot, and I think I'm going to um, cut. I'm I'm not a fussy cutter. Um, it's like my least, absolute least favorite thing to do. Um, <laughs> and so I don't use it very often. My philosophy is it's a junk journal, so tearing is good, right? So, <laughs> um, one reason I don't like it is I have rheumatoid arthritis, and so sometimes my hands just don't handle it well. But I also find it kind of tedious, and so it's not my favorite thing. But for this, I think it needs to be fussy cut and I want to keep the or at least fussy ish um, for this I think I want the uh, greenery on there as well
or at least some of it. See, I'm not a very good fussy cutter. I do have some Tim Holtz uh, butterfly um, ephemera, but I I really like using book pages and old ephemera, original ephemera when when I can. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this book. I have a feeling I'm going to be using it up in the next couple of weeks. It's just that time of year for butterflies. And I have azalea bush. Whoops, shoot, I did not want to cut that off. Um, I have azalea bushes in the front of my house and they are getting ready to bloom. So I have a lot of pollinators outside right now, which is pretty awesome. And until the other day, I had um, a fair amount of clover in my yard as well, but uh, clover got mowed, and so we're down to uh, just the azaleas. So actually, I think I'm going to cover that, that one, or maybe not. Kind of like it down in the corner. Um, I've got some cheesecloth uh, that's actually kind of grun grungied up a little bit. It's got ink on it. I think I might yeah I didn't have a clear vision for today so this you know it's really not a tutorial unless you you've not done a lot of decoupage. Um, I think this looks just dirty, not grungy. I'm going to put a little more ink on there. So it looks more deliberate than having just a brown blob on, on the front there. Um, I think I'm going to put that across the top. Um, I've got this little piece of lace. It's all I have left of the roll. It's just this tiny little tab of lace. Maybe I'll put that up here on the top as well. Um, I don't know. Um, I could do another tag. I'm going to cut one out and just kind of see, kind of eyeball it, see whether I like it or not. whether it needs it or not. I also have some pa uh, piano paper that I brought out um, to maybe use and some washi tape and I like to have a lot of things handy because I never know what's going to kind of strike my fancy. So I'll give the edge a little bit of grunge. Make sure there's no white edges there. Put that over here on the side. And I've got a stamp here. I think it's the perfect size. Oh, it's a little big. Um, I should have thought of this before I cut that out. Yeah, those are all the same size in the middle. Well, I'm going to give it a give it a little ink here and yeah, I think it looks pretty good 
This is butterfly. We put that over here. Put that up on the top. And um, I think that's it. I, I don't think it really needs anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and glue. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to age this up just a little bit and make sure that any white edges that I left are, are inked. Kind of keep with our little grungy theme going. This bottle's almost empty. I hope you guys didn't hear that. My stomach just growled. <laughs> I had a bowl of cereal for breakfast this morning at about six o'clock, so um, it's getting, I have no idea what time it is, but I think it's getting close to lunch. And a little bit of glue. I'm going to sew that down as well. And a little bit. And I'm going to give them, let that uh, glue have a couple of minutes to dry. And then give everything a, a sew around the edges. And this one is dry for sure. And I will be right back. All right, I am back. And you can see I just did um, a little bit of stitching around here. Um, I put a little silk tab on this one and zigzag stitched it on there and then did a straight stitch all the way around and um, I stitched over uh, the lace a couple of times. I wanted it to kind of be a little grungy. So I did that and um, I think it turned out pretty cute. I'm pleased with it. And then this one, um, I did the straight stitch all the way around and then did a zigzag over the, um, the cheesecloth um, and just left the ends. Um, they're not glued down or, or sewn. Uh, I wanted just something a little grungy and I think these will be perfect in my journal. And then these are almost dry. So I'm going to be um, making two more for my uh, grungy butterfly journal, my super grungy butterfly journal. Um, I'll be doing working on that this afternoon, but um, the uh, you know, there's one empty pocket that needs a couple of tags, and I can't remember what signature it was in. I think it was the second signature. Nope. Goodness gracious, where is it? There it is, third signature. So I've got this pocket, um, pretty nice size. And these will fit in there. And actually these are a little big, but these are a little smaller. Um, I thought I did a better job of measuring than that. Um, and I added these this morning. I bet they are too big for the, these also. Darn it. Yep. Oh well. 
I will find a place in my butterfly journal for these tags. So um, uh, that's all I have uh, for you right now. Um, I just wanted to turn on the camera while I was crafting, finishing up uh, these projects. And so um, if you have not done a lot of decoupage, I hope um, this was helpful. And if you have, um, and you're an old hat at decoupage and you've made a bajillion tags, um, I hope you took your supplies out and crafted along with me today. So everybody stay happy and stay healthy and stay inside. And I will um, see you later. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm back with just a little update. I know I already signed off, but um, since the decoupage uh, medium on these two tags was dry, I went ahead and um, layered, uh, layered them up and did um, some uh, collage on there. So uh, this one um, says Papillon on the bottom with a, the butterfly and some lace. Just a little fabric tab on there. And then this other one, I had some trouble with my sewing machine. I have no idea what was going on. I think when I replaced the bobbin, it was not quite in there correctly, but I just left it on there because I, I kind of like the grunginess of it. And so these fit better um, in the journal, uh, fit perfectly in the pocket. So I'm gonna put those in there and um, so now it's done. Um, that's the last thing I needed to do. And um, so uh, this is finished. And here are the other two tags that uh, were a little too big for this journal. And I'm going to put those in the uh, grungy uh, paper bag journal that I'm also working on. So just a little update. So I've got four tags done. It took me not very long. And um, uh, so we'll try again. Thank you so much. Uh, everybody stay safe and healthy and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.